Hi everyone and welcome to Name Hero. I'm Ryan, the founder and CEO. In today's video, I want to show you how to log in and access cPanel for your web hosting package here with us at Name Hero. Now, cPanel is the control panel that we primarily use on our web hosting as well as our reseller hosting packages. You can also order a cloud VPS or cloud dedicated with um, cPanel as well. Um, we try to keep everything in one interface and make it as simple and easy as possible. So the first thing you want to do is click up here to account to log in. So pretty basic here. This is where you're going to enter your email address and your password that you set up when you first registered your Name Hero account. I'm going to look over here and grab mine. So my email is demo and I've got my password here. I'll log in. Now, next up, step is very important. You'll notice I have two-factor authentication. Um, because you can access cPanel from inside of your Name Hero account, you, know, you want to make sure you have two-factor enabled because that ensures that only you are able to get in because the two-factor key is limited to your device. So I'm on my smartphone here and it's going to give me a six-digit code that expires in 60 seconds. So in 60 seconds, when you watch this video, you know, you couldn't use that same code. So you have a username, a password, and then two-factor, and that ensures that only you can access your account. Or you can also add additional users to your account if you need to give a, a developer or a business partner access, but we'll cover that in a different video. All right, so I'm in my Name Hero account now. And, um, you know, depending on how many services or domains you have, yours might look a little bit different. But, um, you know, I think for everyone following along, the steps will be pretty similar. Um, I can go to my cloud here. And this will show the web hosting packages um, or servers I have set up at Name Hero. Um, I'm going to demonstrate with my business cloud account today. So I've got keydiets.com. And I'll click right here. All right. So... Um, this gives me a snapshot view of my account. Now, I just set this account up for this tutorial, so you'll notice like I have no disk usage or bandwidth usage yet, but it'll automatically update every night. And this kind of gives me the details on my account. You know, my domain's key diets, here's my IP, there's a server name I'm on, and my name servers. And, you know, this information here is unique to your, your package. So, you know, whether you have Business Cloud, um, you know, Starter Plus, or um, Turbo, um, this information is going to be unique to your domain. Now, you'll notice in two places, under Actions here, you'll see Login to cPanel, and down here, you'll see Login to cPanel. So the easiest way to access cPanel is simply just to click here. And this will automatically single sign you on into your cPanel account. So it's from inside of here is where you're going to manage and um, you know, control your web hosting package with us here at Name Hero. This is where you upload your files, where you create your email accounts, um, you know, where you install WordPress, which I've got another video coming soon on that, and where you set up email forge. Everything you need to do to your account can be done right inside of cPanel. Now, um, there is other ways to get to it. Um, for example, I could go to like keydiets.com slash cPanel and it'll redirect me, uh, but then I would need my username and password of my account to get to it. If I click on login details, now this is a public video, so I'm not going to click it in here. This would give me what my cPanel username and password is. Now it's important, if I don't have two-factor enabled on my account, I won't be able to see that. So if you have um, two-factor disabled, then you won't be able to see your actual username and password. So I think it's really important that I cover that. So if I go to here, and go to security settings. So I just clicked my name, which is Name Hero, click security settings. You'll see here in two factor authentication, it says enabled. Um, if this was disabled, then this is where I would enable this. And then it will show me my cPanel username and password. So if I don't want to log in through Name Hero's um, client portal, I could log in at mydomain.com slash cPanel. In my case, that's keydiets.com slash cPanel. Um, I suggest using our interface, to, um, as I demonstrated. It, it, it ensures that everything's in one spot. It's quick, simple, and easy for you. And, um, and then you always know how to get to it, and you know with your two-factor you're, um, you know, you're safe and secured. So hey, it really is that simple. We do have requests from every now and then that people ask, you know, how do I get to cPanel? Um, you know, what's the best way to access it? Um, that is certainly the best way. The second question that does come up sometimes is, what if I have a developer? Um, what if I have a business partner that also needs access? Um, cPanel, unfortunately, does not have the ability to assign multiple users to it. So we can fix that very easily by clicking our name again and clicking on um, account de or user management under account details. You'll see right here, I've just got one user, which is myself. 
If I have a developer, a business partner, um, a spouse partner, whatever that needs to access um, cPanel or my account, I can just click, simply click invite user and type their email address in here. And I can actually set specific permissions, you know, on what they are allowed to see and, you know, what they're allowed not to see. So, you know, if I wanted to give them information, like modify master account profile, probably don't want to do that. You know, manage contacts, probably not that. But I give them access to view my products and services so they could access cPanel. Um, we probably don't want them, um, you know, doing password resets or actions, you know, single sign-on. Well, yes, if we want them to get in cPanel, they need to be able to do that. Um, you know, view domains, probably don't, manage domain settings, you know, invoices and quotes and tickets and accounts, um, you know, all that, probably don't need that. So that's, you know, these two permissions here are sufficient enough to create a login for my developer or business partner or whoever to access my cPanel account securely. And all you would do here is just type in their email address and it will send them an invitation. So I'll just use an example. I'm just going to do plus one. So all we need to do here is click send invite. And that's all you have to do. And that will send them an invitation to their email and they'll have to click it and go ahead and create their account. They'll have to create their password at that point. And once they've confirmed it, then you'll see it here in your user management um, portal. If you ever wanna, um, you can resend the email, but if you ever wanna cancel that invite, you could just click X and click confirm. And then now they're no longer invited to your account. If they confirm their user account, you can also delete and manage it in here. If you need to add permissions or take away permissions, that's where you do it. But that's the easiest way to have multiple logins to cPanel that's safe and secure, you know, without giving your cPanel password to people, because you obviously don't want to do that. Um, it's best to create them a, a second account in your Name Hero account, where they can simply go to the dashboard, click on My Cloud, go to the package, and then access cPanel from right side, right inside of here. We also have some quick links down here. So, you know, such as email accounts or backups, um, whatnot, um, that you can easily use here, you know, if I go to the file manager, and that just sends me to cPanel as well, just in a, you know, one-click manner as well. So, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Um, once again, the um, username and password, you know, specific, are only shown with two-factor enabled. Um, you can single sign on, you know, right through our panel, and two-factor is enabled right inside of um, your security settings or account security. You can use our portal to add different users to your Name Hero account, so you can collaborate easily and nicely with your developer or other business associates. Um, we try to keep things simple, um, straightforward, and easy. If you have any questions, though, feel free to let us know. Comment on this video if I can um, you know, help clarify something. Feel free to reach out to our support team. They'd be super happy to help. But thanks so much for watching and using us here at NameHero.com.